be a system? Should she be doing this? Is this an amazing opportunity for Kadisha? Or if she takes it, is it a terrible mistake? I'm going to my dad's because I'm going to go and get some cash to put down on the final race. My personal situation is I'm broke. <laughs> So to find as much money as you can is like insanity to put down on a horse. If I won loads of money, I would, I'd give my dad lots and like take me and my brothers and my son and my nephew on holiday. We are here at my daddy's house and I'm so, so scared now. I'm really, really scared now. This is my wonderful father. <laughs> And he's yes. going to be giving me a thousand pounds today to put on on the final race. When I told my dad um, about everything, he was just freaked out. He was really, really freaked out. He was worried, thinking, oh my God, am I going to be doing what he's doing, like gambling and betting all my wages away? First started off on winning like 20 pounds and 30 pounds, and then it went up to 360 pounds. Wow. And, keeps increasing. I'm trying to get that every Saturday. <laughs> the most I've ever put on a horse is 20 pounds and I double and that lost and when I lost I says that's it never ever again. <laughs> he was just like shocked you know he didn't really believe that this was a, to do with a TV program. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thousand pound from my dad. That's a lot of money for horse. <gasps> Got the money from my dad. Thousand pounds, feeling very nervous, but I'm ready to roll. Come on, baby. Because of her faith in my system, Kadisha has borrowed from her father and since then has also been to a loan company for more money. She's now come to Sandown Racecourse prepared to gamble money she can't afford to lose. Once her bet is placed, I'm going to explain to her and to you how this incredible system really works. It's been raining steadily here for the last couple of days. The going is very heavy, the ground's heavy. The favourite's likely to be Moon over Miami, one last time out at, at uh, Cheltenham. Mahogany Blaze next in, Paddy Brennan riding this horse for Nigel Twiston Davis. The next one that, that I quite like is a horse called Pancake. Goes well on testing ground, likes the mud. Maradima, trained by Paul Nichols, top trainer. Any one of those four could win it. When we last spoke to you, I told you you'd have to get quite a lot of money together yes. uh, for today's race. Yes. And I understand you've done that. Yes, I have. How much money have you have you got for this bet? Four thousand pounds. Four thousand pounds. Four thousand. Which is One, a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Can you tell me how you got that? I know yeah. you. I know you ended up getting some from a. Um, a loan dad. company, but yeah, and my dad as well. I've got some from my dad, so that's what makes it more scary for me. So I got some of my dad's money. And did you tell your dad exactly what it was for? Yes, and that's what made it even worse. So your tip for today is horse number two. Okay. Moon over Miami. So watch out for the green and white shirt. I'm going to go and place a bet for you because I don't want you seeing yet exactly how much you're going to win and everything. So okay. have you got a big envelope of cash on you somewhere? I have. I haven't got an envelope. I've got loads of cash. Excellent. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> that is four thousand um, pounds. All right. Okay. You definitely right to do this? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. I'll trust right. the sister and you. I'll go do it before the queue gets too long. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Okay. I'm really crapping it. Have I lost the plot? Am I really here? Is this really going on? Taking a £1,000 from my dad makes me feel very overwhelmed and more anxious. That's it. That's your... <laughs> That's your £4,000. This is worth a lot of money. Please, don't drop it or lose it. You all right? Deep breaths, deep breaths. Do you want to know how it's done? Yeah? So a couple of months ago we got in touch with you. Yeah. Remember? And we gave you that first tip. Yeah. You weren't the only person that we contacted. It was actually a very large group of people. It was almost 8,000 people. My name is Christina Brockins. I'm 27. My name is I'm 23 years old. So I'm yeah, years old. My name is Sarah. I'm 23 years old. The system works because Kadisha is not alone. 
When we contacted Kadisha, we also contacted a huge number of other people and gave them different tips. The system begins with 7,776 people. The people we contacted are then randomly divided into six equal groups. A six-horse race is then chosen, in our case it was the 920 at Wolverhampton, and each group of people is allocated the name of a different horse as the winner. Group 1 is given the name of horse 1, group 2 is given the name of horse 2, group 3, horse 3, and so on. Kadisha happens to be in the group which is given the horse named Boz. The race runs, and of course only one horse can win, in our case it is Boz. Apologies are then sent to the five groups of people whose horses do not win, blaming a glitch in the system, and they disappear from the process. Kadisha happens to be one of those people in the successful group which has had a winning horse. Now for race two, this group is again split randomly into another six equal groups. So today's Sunday, I'm waiting for my latest tip. Well, I'm en route to the bookies now, so this will be my second bet. Just found out, uh, we've got the next bet through. It's going to be the first time I've ever been in a bookies in my life, and it's going to be the only the second time I've ever actually put a bet on. I'm in the bookmakers, just at the moment seeing um, which horses are running and where they're running from. Placing my second bet now with the system, very confident. Again, Kadisha happens to be in the winning group and the other five groups with losing horses are eliminated from the process. Exactly the same happens again for race three. The winning group from the previous race is split into six equal groups. Race three is the 220 at Carlisle, and Norton Brook wins, giving us just 36 people, including Kadisha, who have had three consecutive winners in a row. In race four, those 36 are divided into six groups of six, and each is given the name of a horse in another six-horse race. In our case, the race is the 345 at Newbury, and Formation wins, reducing the number of people from 36 to just our winning six people one of whom happens to be Kadisha. So I do it again and again and again, and each time this group is narrowing and narrowing and narrowing, and you're just happening to be in the winning group each time as it goes through. Now this continues to last week. You were not the only person there being filmed thinking they were taking part in this show. We kept you all apart. You're all being filmed. You all think you're the only person being filmed for the show. Well, it's 92, and it's near the Tipperary. Well, I've just put on 150 quid of my own money on Here's Johnny. The horse I betted on is called Nevada Royale. None of you can understand how you've had these winning names all the way through. But we didn't know which one of you would win. Last on the far side, Nevada Royale, and Milena Tipperary has gone there. The rider just fallen off, so I guess that would be a lost bet. John is almost level with him now, they come towards the last, and he's down to Nevada Royale, and he's almost, he has, he's brought almost got down. No! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It didn't work. You win some, you lose some. Oh, my horse didn't win. It's a pyramid which begins with 7,776 people who are all sent anonymous tips. All but one of them are eliminated as the system fails for them and we're left with just one single random winner who has had five consecutive wins. So last week at Newbury, you were that last person, the final person who just happened to have those winning names all the way through. That was last week. This week, it is just you and me and those five horses. <laughs> and there is no way of knowing which horse is going to win. Four grand. Four grand. Oh my god! Uh, what's, go what's going through your head before we go into Fucking hell, that's what's going through my head. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my god. Fucking hell. <laughs> Let's go. We've got to get through. Race, race is about to start. Oh my god, I can't believe you've done that! Oh, I feel pain. I feel sick. Oh, here they go. Oh man. 